Hi all. Today we are going to learn about uh, rectifiers. Okay. Everybody know that in our home power supply, our power, home power supply is uh, 230 volt AC. Okay. So, uh, but most of the device equipments that we use in at our home, like TV, mobile phone, radio, VCD player, all those devices require DC. AC stands for alternating current and DC stands for direct current. And we need a device which can convert this AC to DC. That device or that circuit is known as rectifier. Okay, this is something you have studied in your school days. So rectifier is nothing but a circuit that converts AC to DC. Suppose this is 5 volt DC, this is DC. So today we will learn about what are rectifiers and what are different types of rectifiers. So rectifiers converts, it converts AC to DC. Okay. Such rectification is a process of converting AC to DC and such circuits are known as rectifier. So rectifiers are of two types basically. They are one is full half wave rectifier half wave rectifier and other second one is full wave rectifier and this full wave is again classified into two types they are center tapped full wave rectifier and bridge rectifier. So half wave rectifier and full wave rectifier are two types. Full wave is again classified into two types like center tap rectifier and uh, br uh, bridge rectifier. So now we are going to learn about uh, half wave rectifier first. So let us see half wave rectifier. Now in what happens is uh, first of all we our voltage is 230 volt AC we need to step down this first so we need to step down first then we should go for rectification so first step is step down then rectification for step down that is 230 volt AC is to be converted to is to be converted to whatever we for example 6 volt Yes, if we need a 5 volt DC, our final output is that is after rectification we will get 5 volt DC. Then we should go for a 6 volt transformer first, step down transformer. So this is a step down transformer, step down transformer. You can see primary winding is higher than secondary winding. So he, here we have AC input like this, that is 230 volt AC input and here we have 6 volt AC this is also AC now after this we are going for a half wave rectifier that means we are just connecting a diode like this simply connecting a diode like this and a load resistor like this this is RL and this is D D1 and the output is taken across this load resistor R output now let us see what will have what is the work how the, how does it work let us see first now during positive half cycle so this is positive half cycle this is negative half cycle we know this is time axis and this is energy axis that is can be voltage or current okay what will it be and let us consider it as voltage okay then this voltage is maximum voltage Vm. Vm is maximum voltage. Now let us see during positive half cycle what happens this here we will get positive and here will be negative and this diode will be forward by us. As we have learned before when the diode is forward by us it conducts. So there will be a current flow like this 
there will be a current flow like this through the resistor the current flow like this so the output when you take the output across the resistor we will get this i into r will be the output so that that is what happens in positive half cycle okay so this much positive half cycle we will have like this now during negative half cycle what happens is here will be negative here will be positive this diode will be reverse biased during reverse bias diode is off that means there will be no current flow through there will not be any current so the output will be zero there will not be output again during next half cycle again this comes like this so in turn what happens if the output input is like this then the output of a half a rectifier will be only the positive half cycles from the input and as we know when it's, if the diode is a silicon diode there will be a 0.7 voltage drop when it is conducting and if i have vm here i will get vm minus 0.7 if i have 6 volt here suppose this is a 6 volt transformer then here i have 6 volt then here i will i will have 5.3 volt which is approximately 5 volt so 6 volt transformers are normally used for uh, getting a uh, 5 volt dc okay so normally this 0.7 voltage is not considered while drawing the graph uh, in generally if, but if we go too deep into it we will consider this voltage also okay so this is the working of a half a rectifier so here we have vm here also we have vm actually it is vm minus cutting voltage of the diode that is v gamma okay now let us see a full wave bridge rectifier or we say uh, full wave okay full wave uh, before bridge rectifier we will study full wave center tap okay center tap rectifier okay now let us see what happens is uh, here the main part is the transformer is changing here we are using center tap transformer this is like this center tap transformer will have a tap from the center of it we are tapping typing it out so here i have 230 volt ac input okay this is input and here i will have uh, during positive half cycle i will have positive negative then it will be positive negative here and now i am going to connect a diode like this and another diode like this see both are in same direction and the load resistor is connected like this rl and the output voltage is always taken across the load resistor okay this is so this is output voltage is taken across the load resistor now let us see what happens during positive half cycle and during negative half cycle Suppose this is input. We have V max here. Zero negative V max. I am not considering it. Okay. During positive half cycle, this will be positive, this will be negative. And this will be negative, this will be positive. This diode is D1 and this diode is D2. Now tell me which diode will be forward bias. We can see that D1 will be forward bias and D2 will be reverse biased. Okay. Then the current will flow like this okay the current will flow like this and the d2 is reverse bias that means this is off there will not be any current through d2 in any direction okay so if i consider this resistor load resistor then the current is passing from right to left in this diagram okay so this is direction and if i take in the output from rl across rl i will get a positive half cycle like this and then let's see the during negative half cycle what happens is the center tap transformer will work like this this will become negative this will positive and this will become negative and this will be positive so what happens this is negative negative and the anode of the diode is become a reverse bias and this diode is forward biased so before learning the rectifiers we should know, know about the re reverse bias and forward bias of a diode okay so this diode will conduct and this will not conduct 
Now the important thing is like that which direction the current flows. The current will be flowing like this. Like this. Okay. Now see in both cases, in both cases, whether it's positive, positive half cycle or negative half cycle. When I say positive half cycle, this is positive half cycle and this is negative half cycle. Everything, everything is related to the time, time scale. Okay. So during positive half cycle, the current will be flowing like this. During negative half cycle, the current will be flowing like this. Both direction are on the same direction from left to right. So we can see that during negative half cycle also, this is in the same direction. Next positive half cycle like this. So what is the difference between full, full wave and half wave? See, in full half wave rectifier, only the positive half cycle is there. Negative half cycle is absent. But in full wave rectifier, this is also come. This also comes here. Okay. And this is due to diode D1. And this is due to diode D2. Again, this is due, due to D1. And again, D2 like this goes. Okay. Okay. So this is nothing but full wave center trap rectifier. Now one drawback it is that, is that uh, this type of uh, transformer is costly. That is center trap, center trap transformer is costly. So uh, engineers were thinking about how to use normal transformer like this type of transformer to construct a full wave rectifier. There's a new rectifier comes that is bridge rectifiers rectifier which is very commonly used in many circuits so here we are using a normal transformer just like the same transformer that we used in half a rectifier here i have 230 volt ac suppose this is 6 volt i have positive and negative half cycle based upon the time scale okay now the circuit is like this you must listen carefully how i am drawing this I am drawing a bridge. See a diode in this direction and another diode in this direction. From this point, I will have only one anode, another is cathode. Okay. And another diode here and another diode here like this now this is connector here see this is d1 you can see d2 you draw d3 or d4 so you can see d1 and d3 are in same direction d2 and d4 are same direction now the load resistor regarding the load resistor the load resistor will be like this all right okay now let us see the working as usual this is input so we have vm here so this is positive this is negative what happens so suppose this is positive then this diode is reverse bias and D1 is forward bias, D4 is reverse bias. So this will be on. So current will start conducting like this. Then after reaching here, what happens? This is negative. This is negative. This is negative means anode to negative is reverse biased. So this diode is off. There will not be any diode current. So current will go like this. And here it's negative. This is reverse biased. LA, negative positive then the current will look like this so the direction of the current will be like this from here it starts like this for like this okay now during negative half cycle so uh, the if i take the output here what happens during positive half cycle this is like this and this half cycle is due to d1 and d3 so d1 and d3 okay now what happens during negative half cycle this will be negative and this will be positive so see what happens positive so the current will be flowing like this okay current will be flowing like this d2 is forward biased then d4 is forward biased if you have any doubt you please look uh, study yourself 
again and again look through it okay so very interestingly we can see that in both half cycle the current across rl is in the same direction as we have discussed in the another the other full variety fair from left to right to left the current flows so here also this comes like this again like this so for positive half cycle d1 by d1 and d3 the current can't pass through d1 d3. here it is current is through d2 and d4 again d1 and d3 so uh, regarding the uh, waveform both full wave center trap rectifier and full wave bridge rectifier are same the output is same the output is all same but the circuit is different and the working is also different and now we are going to study very important part that is ripple factor of a rectifier you can see ripple factor of a rectifier ripple ripple factor ripple factor means uh, the AC component ripple factor we see say it as gamma gamma just like r ripple factor is nothing but AC component divided by DC component AC component divided by DC component suppose uh, just with the diag uh, our main idea is to convert AC to DC so theoretically for an ideal condition this signal should be converted to this signal 5 volt for suppose i am going for 5 volt dc this this is my ideal case but practically i i am getting like this okay full variety fair and getting getting like this so how much dc common does it have here the dc component is zero because how much positive i have that much negative is also there so if I'm going for the average, it gets zero. Okay. So suppose the, the, I'm drawing for a signal like this. This has ripples. This is not perfect straight line. I have another signal like this, which is more DC. That means which has less ripples. Ripples are all angle. My other all angle. You know, my all the color to get any other angle. You know, ripples are there. That are matter fluctuations in there. So. This has less ripple, so more DC. So ripples, if ripples are less, DC is more. DC component will be more. So perfect DC ripple is ripple is zero. Perfect DC ripple is zero. So when the AC component is zero, then ripple factor will be zero. So our aim, our main aim, idea in rectification is to make ripple factor as much low as possible as much low as possible so ripple factor should be ideally it should be zero ideally it should be zero but that is not at all practical okay practical at all zero okay now let us see the ripple factor of half wave rectifier of half wave rectifier i am i giving you a ready-made formula for this one I'm not going for its uh, derivation and, and all IRM square divided by IDC square minus 1 root of IRM square divided by IDC square minus 1 this is a ready-made formula for any ripple factor in case of rectifiers okay but here IRMS and IDC will be very for half a rectifier and full variety fair. For half a rectifier, for half a rectifier, I RMS, that is root mean square, is just like average value, is equal to IM by 2. What is IM? From the output, we are getting only VM. Sorry, VM or IM, whatever it be, maximum. Okay maximum current or maximum voltage we can either make it as v instead of i okay both are correct so ir must equal to im by 2 in case of half a rectifier and idc what is idc idc is equal to im by 2 in case of half a rectifier 
and in case of full variety fair i am getting like this here also i am in case of full variety fair <coughs> irm is equal to im by root 2 and idc is equal to sorry 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 i have a I, this is equal to id im by pi here im by pi here okay sorry im by pi here and full variety fair irm is equal to im by root 2 and id is equal to 2 im by pi okay so this is the difference here im by 2 and here by im by root 2 here im by pi and here 2 im by pi so this is for half a full variety fair and this is for half variety fair now i am putting this formula this values in triple factor for as far as full variety fair is sorry half variety fair is concerned triple factor is I am, I am again writing the expression that is triple factor is equal to root of i r m square i r m square minus i d c square divided by d c square minus 1 Put in the value of IRMS, I will get is like this. What is IRMS here? IRMS is for half a it is IM by 2. Okay, so IM by 2 all square divide by what is IDC? IM by pi all square. Here root comes okay, minus 1. This all square root under square root. So, if I uh, take like this, what happens? I m square divided by 4, 2 square minus I m square divided by pi square divided by I m square divided by pi square. I think you got it. Okay. Now, what happens? This is im square. Im square is also here. Right? This will be become uh, square root of. Uh, if I take im square out, what happens? One by four minus one by pi square divided by im square divided by pi square. Im square get cancels. So in short, what happens? Is equal to one by four minus one by pi square. Okay, into pi square divided by 1 okay so if you give the value for pi is also 1 3.14 then you will get this as 1.21 this is a fixed value 1.21 therefore the ripple factor of a half a rectifier half a rectifier is nothing but 1.21 see this is greater than 1 greater than 1 so what is ripple factor that is ac component divided by dc component and in half a rectifier fair we are getting is one getting it as 1.2 that means ac component is higher than dc component okay ac component one, greater than 1 means when it when it is 1 means ac and dc are same when it's greater than 1 means ac is more than dc now let us see what happens for a full variety fair in the case of full variety fair I am, the equation is same. This is IRM square, square root of IRM square divided by IDC square minus 1. I am giving the va value for IRMS and I IDC. What is IRMS, IRMS here in this case? IRMS is IM by root 2 all square divided by 2 IM by pi all square that is idc minus 1 if you do calculations this will become 0.48 you do it yourself okay this will become 0.48 im and im will get cancelled okay so in case of full way rectifier ripple factor is 0.48 and half way rectifier ripple factor is 1.21 so this is the main idea 0.48 means here the ripple factor is 0.48 means AC component is less. Ripple factor 0.48 means AC divided by DC. So AC is less than DC. 
That is our idea. Our aim is to reduce the AC component and to increase the DC component. So from the waveform itself, we can see that the DC component is high in case of full wave rectifier. Now, what is the ripple factor in case of full wave bridge rectifier and center tap rectifier? Is there any difference? Is there any difference? We can see that there is no difference in ripple factor in case of full wave rectifier, full wave bridge rectifier and center tap rectifier because the output waveform is same in case of full wave center tap or bridge output waveform is same so the all the calculation depends upon vm or im so that is why the ripple factor doesn't change in case of bridge and full variety fair but for half variety fair it is 1.21 and for full variety fair this point for it so full variety fair is good better than half variety fair okay so for more details, more differences uh, for full wave and half wave, we can get, we will get more uh, difference from Google or textbooks. Okay. For, uh, if you have any doubt, you can ask my mail, if you know the lecture at gmail.com or 9447-686-003. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for now. Bye.